Sonny Donnelly, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm at the Europa Hotel in Belfast today for the Lee Haskins versus Ryan Bennett press conference. With me, I've got the man himself, IBF <coughs> World Champion, Mr. Lee Haskins. Lee, how are you? Yeah, I'm very well, thank you. Um, interesting press conference today. Yeah. Jamie was the only one who sort of had something to say, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, I think he must have some pain on his head for... Um for a little while, he's got to get it off, or he's, or he's had a bad time at home. I'm not, I'm not too sure. You know, I looked a bit stressed out today. I don't think no one bought my breakfast this morning, like <laughs> yeah, you. I think that's what it yeah, was. Yeah, go, yeah, go get his. <laughs> he's gutted. Um, Ryan Burnett. Yeah. Um, you are a lot, a lot your senior. I mean, now, well, you when you made your debut, he was what, nine. Yeah, it's eight. crazy, isn't it? Yeah, no, it makes me feel old, man. I know you don't look old though. I know, thanks. You I know, thanks. Happy living, I think. <laughs> um, you're no stranger to big fights and fighting yeah. away. Uh, I said the story about the, the Moroccan market with goats walking about. I mean, a bit of a difference here. It'll be a bit of a buzz um, yeah. in the arena in Belfast. Looking yeah. forward to it? I am very much, to be fair. It's, um, it's just great to be on another big show and uh, headlining it. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy to be here. I'm just um, just enjoying everything about it now. You know, I want to um, you know, just get back to the camp, just carry on with my training and just enjoy it. But um, to be boxing over in Belfast is, you know, is a great opportunity for myself and I'm very happy to be here. Obviously, you can tell me if I'm wrong, but yeah. at your age now, coming towards the end of your career, it's no secret. So yeah. these fights, are they? Is it looking towards building your legacy more than anything? They're just, they're just to put you know the money in the bank for my children. That's that's the only that's the only thing for it. For me, it's not about building a legacy for myself. I've become, I've been British champion twice, Commonwealth champion twice, European champion twice, WBA and Continental champion, prize fighter champion, English champion. You know, IBF champion, defended the IBF champion uh, the title twice. I've done it all, you know, so I'm just happy. I've been a world champion, so I've got nothing else to prove. I'm, I'm just happy to be here taking these big opportunities and, you know, when obviously putting money in the bank for my kids' future. That's the only reason why I'm here, not for building no legacies, not for slating anybody or, or you know, or anything like that. I just want to come here, win, and um, carry on with my career. Do you think Ryan Bennett has taken this fight too soon? Um. You know, it, I, I, I couldn't I couldn't say that, but you know maybe so. I, you know I don't know. He's, he's he's very talented. Obviously, if he didn't believe he could be champion, he don't, I don't think he would be taking the fight. Um, Eddie Earn obviously thinks he can he can become the uh, champion. So you know I, I don't think they're stupid enough to put him in if he wasn't ready. Um, but for myself, you know I'm also going to be very very ready for this fight. Very sharp, very strong. Um, and it's just going to be one of them, one of them nights, you know. Just want to see what's going to happen, and hopefully, I can counter what he brings. Obviously, you're a bit unlucky in Vegas. Um, yeah. I mean, looking to make up for for lost time now. Yeah, well, I'm just going to keep working now, you know, and um, being me, being the, being my, being the champion, um, and just maintaining in camp, being strong and ready for this one. You know, this is the only thing I'm focused on. Nothing after, um, just this. Obviously, we know you can adjust to any fighter, and we've seen you in many fights and go toe to toe with some of the best. Um, what, what do you think Ryan's going to bring into the ring? Um, you know, he boxes a lot similar to myself to be fair. He's a, he moves, switch hitter and stuff like that. Um, you know, so it's going to be a tricky one. I don't know, you know, hopefully I don't find him as difficult as my other opponents find me. You know, just, you know that's, that's the ones you don't want to, just ones that do red and ones you may, to make you miss and stuff like that. You know, it's one you want the ones that you can whack, that's for sure, you know. Obviously, Jamie said it's, been, as, it's no secret either as well. Um, it's been a long, long, hard road. You haven't had it easy. No. Um, when you get nights like this and you get the call, and you're the, obviously the, the away fighter, but you are the champion, so there's no yeah. really much pressure on you, would no, you feel? I've said, that, I've said that before. I've said, like I've said, I've, I've won everything possible to win. Um, I've been champion. I've been world champion. So there's no pressure on me, you know. It's not like I want to be... Uh, un unif unification fights. I don't, I don't, I'm not bothered if I'm in them or if I'm not. Um, the, literally, the only reason why I do this sport is to provide for my kids, and that's, that's literally it. You know, and don't get me wrong, I love it, but I also cannot wait to get out of it. Um, like I said, I, I, earn, I earn great money from it, and it, it is to provide for my kids. All right. Well, listen, you've. Uh, how, how long's the career been now? Fifteen years. Yeah. Maybe? Well, I think a bit, probably a bit over. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, 40 years pro, yeah. Well, you've done pretty well with providing by then, so... Yeah, thank you. Good summer holiday this year. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, then, well, listen, Lee, thank you yeah. for your time, obviously. Best of luck in training, I'm sure I'll catch you soon, but until then, thanks for all to IFL TV. Yeah, thank you very